suggestions we got. And then you just... I actually... I actually loved all of the suggestions because people just kept, kept on piling them on. So I was laughing the entire time. I mean, I just want to take all the suggestions and then compile them. So then people could just choose one of the suggestions in whenever they're doing a show or a class. I think that'd be real fun. I know. I know. That's beautiful. <laughs> um, these, uh, a lot of these have been like, you know, mono scenes but they don't yes, have yes. to be it can be whatever you want it's 10 minutes All of right. fun so okay however you want to do it if you want to jump around whatever it is you want to do i'm game for it man oh okay right. thank you thank you for that uh, oh yeah thank you and we'll we'll um we'll chat uh we'll chat a little bit afterwards sure sure yes oh man i'm so excited <laughs> uh let's see i here we go i'm gonna put us on facebook uh -huh. all right all right my friend let's see we've got dun, dun, dun. what's the one two three four five six 35 different suggestions 35 man so pick a number one to 35 ah uh, okay uh <laughs> let's let's use a die <laughs> to make it random um oh, yeah so the the second digit is a four uh-huh and oh, i love it the second digit's a four okay and the first digit is a two so uh, 24 oh i love it that's a great way 24 that's a great way to, to to pick it a dice uh all right so let's see 24 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 14 16 18 22 and 24 oh he man uh siddharth gives tons of suggestions and and this one's a great one too uh, our suggestion is all set. That's our suggestion. All set. <laughs> Thank all you for set. that. All set. Okay. All set. All right. All set. All right. I think we have to stretch first before we start this thing. I got to. If I don't stretch first, I'm going to feel it tomorrow. I, uh, I mean, oh. being the best roller coaster technicians in town, uh, it's going to be a busy day. Yeah, it's grand opening. It's another season, man. It's another season. We're back at the park. Uh, I was like... I, I could not wait to, I'll be honest, I could not wait to get back. Okay. I, I had to be back in the park. This is my home. Okay, so uh, this is the first of the six roller coasters we're going to test today. So yeah. might as well do it. <laughs> okay. You okay? Uh, yeah, I'm just tra testing if this is snug enough. Oh, thanks. Thanks for coming with me. Um, Diagnostic checks are really, really bad when you're alone. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't want you to have to do it by yourself. I mean, it sucks. It sucks doing it alone. You, I mean, it just, it takes your whole day if you're just by yourself. I know. I know. Uh, but at least this first one we have, we'll do this together. So do you have your checklist with you? Yeah, I got it right here. Uh, stretch, check. First thing we did, right? First thing we yeah. did. I'm glad, um, you know what? I'm glad we put that on the list. Like yeah. people think it shouldn't be on there, but that's a very important part of our job. So stretching, shack. Okay, great. Yes. Okay. And wait. Let, I'm let, glad let, you don't let, overlook let just... the stretching. I'll be honest with you, D. I'm glad you didn't overlook that. Like I'll tell you what. Before you came here, uh, I don't want to talk bad about Paul, but when you before you got here, Paul didn't give a rat's hair about stretching and it really is the thing that really makes your day so yes I, i'm i'm thankful for that good call d 
Okay, Eric, could you check if the your side is snug? Because my side is snug already. Uh, yep, yeah, my side's snug. <clears throat> yep, yep, no, it's really okay. good. It's snug. Uh, in fact, right. the seats are snug. Everything's snug right here. Are, can I tell you something? Yeah, sure. Wait, wait one moment. Mike, Mike, we, we can go now. Mike. All right. All right. Got it, Mike. Uh, I feel like our relationship is snug. You and me. Yeah. I feel like we got a great snug relationship. Of course, man. I mean, who would have thought that you would go into mechanical engineering and I would go into civil engineering and we'd both find ourselves um, independent roller coaster testers, man? Oops, I mean, uh, first, first band, first band. <laughs> Okay. Uh, my, my stomach always drops. Me, oh, le, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I think it's better if you do this when, okay. Uh, of course it is. Okay, we're, we're ready for the first drop and go. Ah. <laughs> hey, while we're at it, can we like... What? What? Well, while we're at it, are are you going to give me any other ideas for yeah. doing this thing better? Yeah. Ah, <sighs> uh, I, I have a couple ideas. Uh, what I think we okay. can do is, I think we can make this a standing coaster. Why not? Get I think we can make it standing, coaster. and I think we can do four loops. I mean, this was a great coaster, but it's really just the one drop, and then you're done with the ride. I mean, it's it's a lot to wait in line an hour and a half for. But so maybe if we, you know, we could probably expand this and tack this onto the demon and make it a longer ride. Um, you know, don't get me wrong, that drop is pretty great, but like it's pretty short. But this is the first coaster that they had in this park. I mean, it's, so, yeah. it's a classic. It's a classic. Are, don't you like classic rides? I mean, I, I love them. You know, you know me. I love tradition. If there's one thing I'm, I'm a big fan of, it's tradition. I want things to be honored. And we can't, you know what I always, you know what they say? We can't go forward on the roller coaster without knowing where we've been. Is it wait? But you're telling me to change this into a standing coaster, and I mean, what's wrong? I, with I me? always like this as a. You're right, Dean. Anywho, you're right. No, uh, no, no, no. You're right. I'm wrong here. You asked me what I wanted to do to improve it. I wanted to change it. That's like the complete. That goes against the engineer code. The engineer code is not to change something. It's, you know what the engineer code is. It's to look out for things that might be a problem and fix them. It's not to change it and abandon but, what got but, it successful. But you're, but you're also right. I, I mean, putting tradition is on, on one hand, but making sure that it's always up to date is another. And you know how, what they say. If you can't beat them, them. join them. Yeah. So okay. So dare, dare I I'm gonna say make, I'm going to make that. I mean, main make tradition modern. Wow. That's a good way of doing it. Making make tradition, tradition modern. modern. Huh. I got a crazy idea, D. If you uh, want to hear it. Sure. Let's walk to the next coaster while Let's go to the, that. That, that's, that's great. Let's go to the next coaster. Yeah. Mike, thank Thanks. you. Thanks, Mike. Uh, first off, Mike's a solid dude. You know, he plays bass. He's in a band. I, I thought only I knew it. I went to one of his concerts. Yeah, it's really good. It's like this kind of, you know, it's like a Steely Dan feel, but he's really good. And he just like, man, he, he jams on the band, uh, on the bass, man. And what, you, what I don't think a lot of people know is that Mike is actually classically trained. Oh, hi, Pete. We're here to do your coaster. What up, Pete? All right. Here we go. All right. Checklist. All right. Wait. Oh, yeah. 
Stretch. Stretch first. Okay. Make and then make sure it's snug. Is it snug? Check. All right, we're ready Is to go. Snug, All right, Pete. All right. Ready, 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 ready to go, ready to go. Fish uh, I bump. think I am. Okay. Okay. Oh, oh. Yeah. Okay. There. Ah. Uh, you know, one these wooden coasters are really, really traditional, but I want to hear what you want to say about it to make it, you know, more exciting. Okay. Pete, we're okay. Pete, we're giving a thumbs up. <laughs> the first drop's always the hardest. Yeah. But this doesn't have a loop. <laughs> okay. Okay. It ends there. And so what do you think? I was going to say, we... again, I was going to say, like, it's one drop and it's really good, but my instinct was to add more to it. But I think, I think it's fine just the way it is. I don't think okay. we can improve upon it. This is the second oldest roller coaster in the country. How about putting piranhas? Wait a minute. Say that again. Piranhas? piranhas like when it drops yes. it it passes through that that water feature e. and then you just have piranhas like d you've done it you've taken what was you've maintained the integrity of it and then you added a new flair uh, it's a modern flair to it i would never have thought piranhas but now that you say it it makes such sense put it on the list okay let's okay. go to the next so, one so standing coaster there piranha coaster here oh uh, okay so this is the end of our this is the third coaster and this is like <laughs> multiple drops and multiple loops are you sure you're good for it well let's grab the checklist okay okay stretch that's the first thing all right yeah. Yeah. you know when i first got into this i didn't want to stretch but now i feel mm -hmm. like i have to stretch oh and it's really the arms that's okay good and then it, it's uh, it saves on the chiropractor bills. Yes, yes. Uh, they're they're necessary, but very expensive. Uh, yes. And then make sure it's snug. All right. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wait, did you install that feature? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, okay. Remember there. when you went fishing last year, you took that vacation? I came in. That's that, when I, uh, yeah. That's when that I. That was you. That was oh, me. okay. That was you. Cool. Okay. So, I'm so glad I'm I'm working on this project with you. Hey, me too. Better rip. Awesome. All right. All right, Ricky. <sighs> ah! Ah! <laughs> that was the first hill. Okay. There's only there's only twenty seven more hills, man. I'm glad I'm doing all of the hills yeah. with you. Yeah. Can I tell you a secret? What? I'm, before today, I was thinking about giving my two-week notice, but now I remember why I do this. I got into being an engineer because I, I like to create things. And I like to form partnerships. Thank you for being my partner. Thank you for being my partner. Seems. <laughs> 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 Nothing oh, more fun than oh, roller fun. coasters. <laughs> yes, 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 definitely. Even with the zoom lag. Oh, still one works. minute one minute we're like this, the next minute we're like <laughs> <laughs> I might have I might have pulled something. I was like Oh, oh my god. Oh really my god. <laughs> That's why we have like, to stretch. <laughs> I love and it. make sure that it's snug. <laughs> right.
I love it. It's like, all right, stretch, and it's snug. Let's go. It was so go. fun. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, <laughs> oh, God. How? And I, do, I did notice. I did notice that there was one of the – in the second coaster, we were strapping things differently. Oh. Um, uh, and when you like strap this way, I went like, "Oh, okay, that's what you did." And then you, and then you did this. So, how many straps does this roller coaster oh. actually have? And to... it was the second oldest one oh, in yes. the park. So it was like, <laughs> that's why I thought of the piranhas. <laughs> oh, it was so great. The first one was like the overhead one. The second one, I was like, I guess it's like like old seat belt. And the third one was several different straps, all just around the body. Uh, yeah. <laughs> how, what got you into improv? How did you, uh, why did you start taking classes and doing shows? Okay. Um, I, I got into improv like 20 plus years ago. Um, I was in college and, um, we had this improv group. Yeah. Uh, um, called the Bibliothek Improv Group. And the funny thing was like, just like how improv groups in Chicago or in, in other places started with just having a few good, uh, well, having people come together and yeah. just playing with each other. We didn't even know that there was an improv way of doing things. We mm -hmm. just called ourselves the improvised group because we didn't have money. We, we, didn't, have, um, we didn't have a set. We didn't have costumes. We just yeah. played. And it was, a, it was just a beautiful thing that we played and we wanted to do scenes together. So we did have our, our theater training, some sort of theater yeah. training. But all of it, it was, was just to make sure that we made a good improv show. Um, fast forward years later, um, I got into a group called One and a Half Men. And that was when I, that was when I said that yes, I am an improviser, and I I that's when I marked that I am a prof. I, that's when I marked my beginnings as a professional improviser. Oh so, wow, with that group. It. Yeah, with that group. Yeah. Wow, and uh, it's it's so funny. It's like I think we improvise without knowing what it is for a long time, like when we're kids, I think we kind of do it, you know, we just, we call it play or we call it something else, but we don't, you know, we don't label it as improv early on. It's just like, no, I'm playing with my friends and we're building off each other and just having fun. And, and we, we, as improvisers, I think we try not to, don't try not to lose that sense of play, even as adults, it's so important. One thing that I, I, you think of uh, whenever I play is that, especially in the scenes that we did, was like, it felt like two friends, two kids who were friends, who was in a cardboard box and just, they just start drawing what the inside of the cardboard box yeah. is. And that, okay, the cardboard box is, today this is a spaceship or tomorrow yeah. this is yeah. like a kitchen. Today it was a roller coaster and yeah. it, it, was, it was that sense of permission, uh, giving yourself permission to go back to that feeling that you can create something. 20 years or uh, 20 plus years ago when, when we started, uh, we just bar we didn't even know that improvisers just used seats. So we just used seats because that was what we can borrow from the classrooms. Oh, right, and, right. And, and we just used chairs and uh, boxes. And fast, uh, when I start reading about groups around the world starting in improv they just did what we were doing in college and yeah. and ended having fun doing it so that's the that's the biggest thing that i i picked up from all of that how hard do you, is it for human adults especially to give themselves permission to play like it's it's don't you feel it's such a hard thing for an, an adult to give themselves permission to play? Um, it is difficult because you end up with a lot of expectations. Mm. I, I see that. I see a lot of people there. And I see a lot of improvisers, me included, who had to learn how to give your, themselves permission to play. Because um, it, it comes to a point where when you're in a group, you... I have to ask permission 
uh, from other people to play with them. Right. But the first, but the first permission has to come from yourself. Thinking about it, uh, playing makes you more creative, and sometimes people are in jobs or in in relationships where in or in in spaces where creativity isn't as valued so that's where they i think it they stop playing and when they stop playing they start drying up they start burning up and uh it's a sad thing um went through that a few years ago but uh the power of play saved me so yes <laughs> it's interesting i think the, you know when you there are a lot of improvisers after a certain number of years who take a break, but then realize how much they miss it. Like I, I took a break for a bit and then it was like, I got back into it because I, I didn't know it at the time, but because it was something that was missing in my life, that, that feeling of play and how important that is for us, especially as we get older uh, and to not lose sight of that and, and giving yourself permission is very hard. And, and, you know, yes, and yourself before your partner, right? You have to yes, and your own ideas and your own thoughts and it, that that can be hard for people to do and uh to add to that uh it's also a very very difficult thing for improvisers or especially for for someone like me who's middle-aged already to give yourself permission to play positive characters oh. be because a lot of times uh we're we're built to be, bring drama into the scene Ugh. we're 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 asked to bring the tragedy rather than the truth yeah. then it becomes life and and nothing is more tragic and comedic than life so going <laughs> through that one so i, I think it's it's a permit it's permission for you to be able to touch uh to to, to go back home to, mm. to to go back to where you are um uh, in in one of the interviews of david escobedo actually when we were talking uh, i always say that my approach to improv is an open palm yeah so it's it's that it's this is who i am this is how i see you come and it's an invitation for us to play so oh. let's just play yeah, that's that's something that i want to promote or if if i'm going to uh share the yeah. good news of improv then it is something that's liberating rather than constricting it's such a good image too of the open palm of like here come play like giving permission to play i mean i think that is such a wonderful image right there thank you um what are you doing i mean we talked a little bit beforehand um are you are you doing a lot of like virtual teaching or performing right now or like how's it looked for you uh, well one problem that I have to be truthful about is, and Ari actually mentioned this, that uh, being in this time zone, the plus eight, it's so difficult. Uh, it's so difficult to actually have um, to, mm. to to connect with people uh, with different time zones. But right now, uh, what I want to do is number one, I want to do my own series of of uh, duo scenes with people uh, inspired by you and inspired by everyone who's doing this. Mm. Uh, uh, but I don't think I'm, I'm good enough to do 10 minutes yet. So I'll do seven minutes. So, <laughs> or some, <laughs> let's try, wait, let's try that. Let's we just, try did, wait, minutes. wait, we just did 10 minutes. Well, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. Well, it, it's going to be, well, but my mindset, it's going to be like a seven minute scene. Let, let, let's, let's, uh, or oh, I'll call yeah. it, or an, or an eight minute scene because I'm in the plus eight uh, uh, time zone. Uh, well, that uh, virtually, uh, if there's something, if there's a glimmer of hope uh, because of this pandemic, it's because that we people, we improvisers can meet. Yeah. Um, and I, I get to learn from a lot of people uh, working on a teacher's budget because as a school teacher, yeah, you know how it is. Um, yeah, you're making tons of money. Are you kidding me? School yeah. teachers are, they're just loaded. Yeah, <laughs> man, let it rain, brother. <laughs> yeah, but but actually, uh, well, that's what that's something. Um, and I do teach. I I I, meant, I I teach a couple of classes. Um, I'd rather use the word tutor 
or I facilitate the classes because I don't really teach them. I let them discover improv mm. uh, in that way. And um, I, just as I said, school started already. So I, I think, I think, uh, because no one has contested it yet, um, uh, I think I started the first high school improv club in the okay. Philippines. So in my school. So I'm trying very hard to find a way to spread improv mm. through high schools uh, to the high schools That's because right. uh, uh, because I teach disaster readiness. Yes, it is a subject in the Philippines, disaster readiness. Um, and I, I found improv as a really good tool in teaching it because wow. it's one way of looking at a narrative and one way of changing the narrative uh, just by saying new choice. So oh, you wow. just change the narrative. And you now see that if a hazard comes by making a new choice, you can prevent it from actually becoming a disaster. Wow. I'm, I'm taking notes as you say this. This is great. Uh, um, where can people, if they want to connect with you, follow what you're doing online, reach out to you, get more information, like what's the best way they can do it? Uh, Facebook is very efficient. Uh, they can look for me on my Facebook page um, through your Facebook page because they know you more than they know me. <laughs> so they can actually click that link and uh, and send me a message. Or they can look at my artist page. It's uh, Bald Guy Art Space. No, so come on. Yeah, so it's <laughs> at Bald Guy Art Space. They're, they, so if I have shows, uh, or classes right. or, you know, weird thoughts, I share it there. Um, and then um, on Instagram, they can look for me on at Bald Guy Science. So it's at Bald Guy Science. Uh, well, this was such a treat and we've known each other um, like on Facebook, but we never got a chance to actually like connect and talk. And so I had such a ball playing with you and I can't wait to do it again, whether it's, uh, uh, you know, another virtual set or in person, either one. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I learned so much also from you and I learned uh, how to do all of these things, um, especially uh, skills on how to do duo scenes on Zoom from you and by watching your interactions with other people. And I have so much to learn. I have so much stuff to learn from other people. So uh, feel free to tell me what I need to improve on and please feel free to tell me what I did right too. So <laughs> these are things that will help me uh, as an artist, both as an artist and both as a teacher so that I can teach better too. Uh, one thing that I need to share is that uh, since we moved to virtual classes, improv has helped a lot, helped me facilitate my classes better so yeah it looks effortless but no it's not <laughs> <laughs> it's just dude, dude it's all degrees of confidence just fake it like you know what you're doing that's it yeah we, we call it the uh the college shirt boxer shorts uh approach <laughs> that you know that you're covered but you don't you know that you're not all covered so yeah. <laughs> it gives you that <laughs> okay it's the best just a little bit right <laughs> yes yes <laughs> well have Thank a great you, have a great day and uh we'll talk soon my friend Thank you, Jay. Uh, thank you for everyone who watched. And please don't forget to watch Jay on oh. all of his shows. Oh, you're the best, buddy. I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye. Thank you. Bye.